Hi. About time for another cooking video, I think, and specifically a soup video. I'm keen on the soup videos because apart from the garlic one I did, um, they don't get many uh, views. And um, for some reason I find the videos on my channel that get the least views most interesting. <laughs> So today I'm going to do um, lentil and bacon soup and this is going to be based on the BBC recipe that's available on web on BBC. Um, we got some slight divergences. Um, now first thing is the bacon. Um, they recommend that you use um, pancetta, pancetta, whatever you say. Right, I haven't got any of that, but what I have got is bacon from the butchers. Uh, this is what we call bacon in the UK. Where you're from, your bacon might look more like this. Okay, States, Canada, what have you. Um, this is what we call bacon in the UK. And it includes the streaky bit you get everywhere else, but also this sort of eye here. And look how thick this is. I mean, this is about, there's my finger on it. And each of these rashers cost about a pound. So what I'm going to do is there's two loads of bacon with this. One goes in with a mix and sort of cooks with the lentils. And you use others for um, crisping up and then crumbling on top, which I'm probably going to use that for. And also the rind from this. So I'll cut the rind off. and Because um, this is... Uh, home cured by the butcher and it doesn't go into a slicing machine he does it by hand so you can see it's fairly crude but we'll put the bulk of this in the soup and then use the rind as um you know a, what's the whistle word i want a dressing on top whatever it is right lentils obviously red lentils split red lentils drain them wash them off before you use them we need an onion garlic, um, herbs and spices, cumin, turmeric, a chilli. Um, right, these chilies were grown by a friend of mine in um, a village called Frampton Mansell outside Stroud. They're good and hot. And I only use one of those. You could use a fresh one, you could use powder, you can use what you like. Um, stock cubes. Right, now if you're feeling virtuous, you could use a vegetable stock cube, not put the bacon in, cook the bacon separately, and just cook lentil soup, vegetarian-wise. Okay, I'm not feeling very virtuous today, so I only use a chicken stock cube and cook the bacon in with the soup. But what you could do is make yourself a vegetarian soup, just with the lentils, and if you fancied bacon and, uh, bacon and lentil soup, you could add the bacon in at another date. Uh, later on when you've you know heated up the soup because this is again this is batch cooking i'm just going to give me tons i'm eating this um you know at least once or twice more in the week so here we go on to stage one okay hot olive oil here i've got a diced onion a grated carrot and two of those rashers of bacon i thought i'd make it quite bacony I'm feeling quite carnivorous. So what we're going to do is cut this off for about 10 minutes or so. And we don't want, the, as usual, we don't want the onion to go brown. So now I've got the oil up to heat. Oops. Ah. Sorry about that. Now I've got the oil up to heat, I'm going to turn it right down. And... A bit hot, I'm going to take it off for a second. I don't want the onion to brown. I just want it to soften. With our substitute pan cheddar. I bake it from the butchers. And our grated carrot and our onion. 
I like naked suits because um, they're easy, they're simple, they're pretty quick and you can get so many different flavours out of them, you know. But on my channel this will be the third soup recipe and so far I've done garlic, I've done mushroom and now I'm doing lentil and bacon and that's three totally different things and they're all easy recipes, all easy to follow, easy to do. See it turning slightly orange, that's a carrot. Okay, I'll come back when the onion is soft. Okay, next stage is um, to add the garlic, chilli, um, cumin and turmeric. So here's the old garlic press. The onions are nice and soft now, they've been going for about 10 minutes. Chilli, if you like chilli put more in, if you don't like chilli leave it out, totally up to you. Ooh. Um, and we want ground cumin, a teaspoon, turmeric, sort of half a teaspoon. You can ponce about trying to get those things exact, but it's not worth it. And once you've made it once or twice, you know, you'll learn what does it for you, what you like lots of and what you don't like lots of. And you can cook to your preference, which is my favourite lecture. I'm going to turn that up a notch just to um, get those, turn it up two notches, just to get those spices to flavour up. I'm going to do that for a couple of minutes and I'm just going to boil the kettle um, and I'll see you in a minute when we fried that for a couple of minutes. Hi, right, um, it smells delicious in here, that's been, um, they've released, uh, we've released the aroma of the spices and here I've got a litre and a quarter of boiling water. And I've also got two chicken stock cubes, which I'm going to crumble in. This one. I should have unwrapped them first, really, shouldn't I? Right. That's two. And the main event, which is lentils. Gosh, I hope this saucepan is going to be big enough. These have been rinsed 250 grams of red lentils. Oh. Look at that. Such a pain. <laughs> Okay, and what we're going to do is going to bring this up to the simmer. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. And we're going to bring it up to the simmer, which it very nearly is doing already. Gosh, this sauce was only just big enough, isn't it? Okay, salt. Okay, and in theory, once we've gathered up all the sprays, spare lentils, in theory this takes about 20 minutes. There's a problem with lentils, they get everywhere. Good things, lentils. Right. Oops, spilled some already. Yeah, that's it. So I'm going to come back, I'm going to bring this up to the simmer, a gentle simmer. There's no need for anything more than that. 
and then I'll come back when the soup is ready and the topping bacon is cooked because in the meantime I'm going to put that on oh, I might as well show you that I'm um, I'm doing that in the hal my halogen oven okay it's really good for things like this there's the rind from the bacon that's in the soup and the chopped streaky bacon I showed you earlier and this thing is absolutely brilliant for doing crispy bacon so there we go i'll see you when the um lentils are cooked right i thought i'd just say that when i say simmer this is what i mean right there's just a couple of bubbles coming out over here in a minute i'll turn it down again because it will keep going but we've only been going five minutes and already the lentils are turning mushy and the noise you can hear is the um, bacon cooking in the halogen oven. Okay. Okay, another quickie. We're coming up to the end of the cooking time now. They just need a few more minutes, the lentils. But I thought I'd show you how, as they cook, they expand and become mushy and they start absorbing all that lovely stock we put in earlier. And the stock cubes chicken stock cubes tend to be quite salty so I've just tasted the seasoning it doesn't need any more salt in it than that than what I put in um, so just a couple of minutes to go as I say we're thickening up nicely and I'll see you in a sec right well here's the real deal this is that streaky bacon cooked in the halogen oven Okay, and it goes like this. You can chop it as finely or as unfine, coarsely as you like. And this is the rind from the bacon that I put in the soup. Okay, so we're going to get some of this. Sprinkle it on there. I didn't chop it particularly finely, you know, if you want to be... If you want to be obsessive about it bit of rind how about that ready and this is the sort of consistency we're looking for mm. it tastes really really good really wholesome really earthy really um, what can I say? It's delicious and so easy to do, you know, so easy to do. This isn't a particularly cheap one because the bacon is quite expensive from the butchers. Um, but I've got at least another four, um, four portions of this. So, you know, if you add it all up, it's not that expensive. I had a complete disaster um, <laughs> getting it from the saucepan into the casserole, so I didn't show you that bit. But anyway, give it a go. Honestly, it's easy, quick, relatively cheap. You'll have soup for a week if you're a bachelor like me. And thanks very much indeed once again for watching. See you next time.